Hey, so I want to give you a quick rundown of how I have my dedicated VR room set up. Uh, this room in our house does nothing else other than serve as the play area for our HTC Vive and uh, all virtual reality setup. So I'll kind of give you a quick view of how I have everything put together. Uh, right now I have the camera in wide angle view so you can see the entire room. Uh, when all said and done, it's about four meters wide by three and a half meters long, or vice versa, however you want to look at it. Um, when I'm done mapping out the actual play area, it's about three meters by three meters to give us that buffer around the wall. So it's large enough to pretty much fit any game that you want to play with the Vive, minus a couple of that go out to four meters wide. Um, but uh, let me go ahead and switch the camera view here. So in terms of how I have the lighthouses set up, I chose not to drill them into the walls because one, we're renting this place, uh, so I didn't really want to put holes there. Uh, but also I like the idea of putting them on these photography stand so that I could take it with me. So the whole idea with the computer being built, a uh, really small form factor, and having the lighthouses uh, be portable, I like the idea of being able to just pack it all together into one package. So I have the lighthouses in each one of the rooms, or in each one of the corners, uh, each on their own photography stand. Uh, and then the cables are a bit of a mess right now. I do have the sync cable running since I did run into some issues with how far apart they are from one another and I don't know if the fan was maybe getting in the way. They are lower than the fan so they, they did have line of sight but I kept getting connection issues. So I did run the sync cable uh, down underneath the trim on the floor all the way around the room and then I have all the excess bundled up there. So at some point I am going to tidy everything up and kind of zip tie things so it's nice and clean. Uh, going back over to this corner uh, I put my Logitech webcam mounted up on the wall. The stand is actually um, the lighthouse mount that came with the HTC Vive. I just took that and command stripped it to the wall so I didn't put any holes. And since the camera doesn't weigh anything, the command strip holds it up just fine. Uh, but that camera from its vantage point does view the entire play area. So it's a good position to be able to record uh, from the real, real world uh, what the person is doing once they're in the VR world. Okay, and then what I have here is the actual computer that runs the entire VR system. Uh, I put everything in this small form factor fractal node 202 case. It was kind of difficult fitting all the components in there. I have a 1070 in there for the graphics card. I have a, an i5 6600K, I want to say, uh, for the processor and then all the different RAM and components that fit in there. It was kind of a cool, difficult build to put together, but uh, overall I'm very happy with how small it is, so it plays into that portability that I was aiming for. Um, I originally had it sitting vertical, but I had this uh, stand here that my wife's parents gave us, and uh, pretty much the computer fit perfectly on top, so it was kind of hard to pass up to, to do that. On top of it there is uh, the wireless card that I use, a wireless antenna to connect to our home network. Below that is where I keep the headset for the HTC Vive, kind of fits in there just fine, and then down below I have all the power uh, connectors as well as the HTC Vive controllers. Okay, so this is an old desk that we had sitting around. Uh, didn't really have any other purpose for it, but it happened to work out really well for fitting in this room due to the fact that it's not very wide, so it didn't eat up into our play area. Um, I have a 42-inch Samsung TV that we also had kind of sitting around not being used. It functions as the main interface for the computer. And then I just have some old peripherals that I had sitting around. I think a Logitech keyboard, Logitech mouse, and a Logitech uh, joystick. Uh, I have this other portable mouse, or portable keyboard and mouse uh, touchpad setup that uh, I use for games that don't have just controller input. So if it's a game you need to load into the menus, whether it's a racing sim or a flight sim, that's a wireless keyboard that will get you in through there. So the way I have this set up is it's very simple for the person to come in here open up Steam, and then uh, basically click on any one of these games will allow them to launch up the Steam VR uh, and then just pop on the headset and start playing. Alternatively, they could also just pop on the headset once Steam VR is running and select the game inside the game menu. Uh, standard uh, Logitech wireless headset or headphones that I have for uh, when you're wearing the headset. They are, I don't remember what model they are, but they're 7.1 surround sound. So they help with that immersion in terms of giving you the full 3D environment, not only because of the visuals, but also the audio around you. And then here, if you watched my other video where I showed off Project Cars, this is that folding seat. So we had it set up here in the middle of the floor, but it happened to also just fold up really nicely and fit in this corner. Uh, other option too is pop it in here in this uh, closet that we have. But uh, overall, the room has been really good for VR. It's really wide and open. Uh, there's nothing to really trip up over. I'm going to find something to do with the actual headset cable, whether I want to route it up on the wall and have it reach across via bungees and then kind of give you that 
the hanging headset so that you can walk to all the different sides of the walls or sides of the room and not have to trip over it with your feet. But uh, that's kind of a bit more involved than I think I'm probably going to get into before we have to move out of this house. But uh, it does reach all the way across the room, so you can use all three meters by three meters of the play space. But uh, that's how I have our holodeck room set up, as we call it. And uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by.